Hey there everyone, my name is Andrew for Aurora Gameworks and welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today's video will be taking a look at the time dilation node or more specifically the set global time dilation node. Um, this is good for if you want to set up certain uh, slow-mo moments in your gameplay or perhaps you want to speed things up. Uh, let's say that you have a strategy simulation game like a like a city builder or something where you know it would be good to have something where you could speed up time a little bit just to let the world simulate itself out um so having a node like uh set global time dilation is very useful to have um if we go into our blueprint uh, just for here, I'm going to use the F key, and let's use the press and release. So on press, let's go set global time dilation, and uh, the standard time dilation where everything's just running at normal speed uh, will be 1. So uh, how about on pressed? we make everything go at half speed and on released we can return it back to normal and that will look like this so here we're just going around normally but while I'm holding down the F key everything's at half speed and if I release it we're now back to full speed half speed full speed you know what that's actually not as pronounced as I thought it was gonna be let's change that to 0.1 and now let's see what that looks like this should be a lot more pronounced yeah there we go so while I'm holding down the F key and our time dilation is set to just 10% of normal speed this is what it looks like so you could use this sort of function um, for certain slow-mo moments that you want like maybe you have a uh, a action game and you want to add some more emphasis on some big action thing that you do in your gameplay like where you have a massive uh, a, a massive explosion and you wanted to emphasize that by slowing down the speed slightly or again like I said you could have like a simulation strategy game where you want to speed up the simulation or something and you would make it go faster uh, making it faster for instance uh, let's say we wanted it to be five times as fast and then here it would look like that he's all running around the place he's all super quick Woo! <laughs> so yeah that's what that looks like um, and of course you wouldn't attach that to just pressing on the F key, you would attach that to some certain like gameplay functions. So yeah, let's say we don't want uh, our global time dilation to work just by pressing a button. Let's say that we want it to work based on us um, going into a certain area in the level. We can grab a box trigger, let's scale this up. Cool about that big and just so we can see it in the level let's go and turn off actor hidden in game and with that selected we can go into our level blueprint let's grab begin overlap and end overlap let's cast to our third person character nope that's the third person character class <laughs> cast to third person character there we go and we want to connect that to other actor um, I will admit that I just made the mistake before off camera where I thought it would connect to overlapped actor I mean I thought that would make sense that the third person character is the overlapped actor but no don't make them but don't make the same mistake that I did it's connected to other actor so with that all compiled and everything uh, we have it set to 20% of normal speed when we're inside the box and that looks like this so when we're out here it is fine and we jump into it and whoa it's all slow motion 
Oh, and in the moment that we leave the box, it's boom, we're fine, we're back into normal speed. And then when we leave the box, boom, all good. So that's what that looks like. Now you could uh, use this sort of setup for, you know, it sort of depends on what kind of game you're making, really. Um, now, you could also uh, set up a system where you have uh, buttons on, on your heads-up display for your simulation strategy game, and you would connect these to the buttons, uh, and then that would uh, control your like world simulation speed, basically. Um, something else that we can do here quickly is what if we wanted to have uh, smooth transitions rather than just instant snapping to a certain time dilation um, and for that we could use the lerp node so it just took me a little bit of time to set up the lerp functions but basically what I've done here is that I've kept the same overlap and end overlap uh, but I've added some timelines here where they uh, start from uh, play from start and this is controlling the alpha channel inside lerp and if you don't know what lerp is it linearly uh, goes between a and b based on the alpha um, it doesn't have to be linear because we can add a curve to that in the timeline um, but yeah, it basically just goes like, let's say here, it, you know, like, if we have a timeline track here, at zero, it's at value zero, and then I've decided at half a second, uh, it's at one. You know, which means that it's done its full transition uh, between whatever A is to B. So in this case, when we do the overlap, we want it to lerp to the slow-mo, and then here, it's the other way around, we're lerping it back to normal speed. Uh, and I just did a curve there by doing auto. You can create any sort of curve you want. Uh, and then, of course, on our finished, uh, I added a extra set time dilation here, uh, just to sort of second check and basically like make sure that once this timeline update is done we actually have the result that we want uh, so yeah it's good because that can then give us uh, some sort of smoothing to our slow-mo so here we just jumped into our little slow motion area we jumped in it didn't immediately slow down and we get out and it sort of smooths back into uh, normal speed. So, you know, I think that just gives sort of slow motion um, functions in your games that little bit of polish that, that otherwise it wouldn't have. Um, but yeah, I hope you find this useful. I've been Andrew for Rural Gameworks. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm floating in the air. <laughs> Take care, guys.